and today I want to talk about what to write about because a lot of times people will come to me and they'll say I want to write a book but I don't know what to talk about and other times they'll say well I've already written a book I just had to eat something I was starting to get hungry um, I just have to I want to write another book but I don't know what to write about so the first thing that I want to say is that a lot of people want to write books and they don't know what to write about and you're not alone and a lot of times people really do have something to say and they just don't know it so for instance I was talking to an executive coach the other day and he was saying that he did oh, hi okay he does um, executive coaching and he has a process that he does and he does it with his individual clients but he doesn't know how to put it into a book and so I said to him well you know what's the process and he started telling me the process and I said well there you go that's your outline you, you already know it so what I'm saying is is that a lot of times I'm trying to get to my Facebook page here okay there we go so I can see the comments okay so um, so people know what their process is or what they need to write about and they just don't know that they know okay so a lot of times what I have to do with people is just pull it out of them basically so that's one scenario um, the other scenario is is where they written a book and well or they just don't even know what their topic is now that's a little trickier I mean you've got to find out what your topic is and you always want to we're talking about nonfiction here so you always want to write books that solve problems for people okay so that's what you want to focus on is focus on one problem and how you can solve it and so it's the same thing if you've written a book and you're thinking well I don't know how to you know what to write for a second book and I found this very comforting so I'm going to share with you this I, I was so happy when somebody told this to me actually I think it was Justin Livingston and he said every time you solve a problem for somebody they get a new problem that you you know and then you can solve that problem and then they get a new problem and the reason that was comforting to me was because when I first started out and I solved you know how to write a book and then people wanted to know how to market it and I solved that how to market it and then I got new problems in my own business and I thought oh god I thought I had this solved and I didn't understand that that every time you learn something and you solve it you get a new problem or you know you get a new challenge if you're growing because you're gonna go oh hi Mark you're gonna um, start to learn something new and especially if you're a lifetime learner and most times uh, I would say all entrepreneurs pretty much are lifetime learners so you're gonna do that but um, anyway so you know take take uh, you know comfort in the fact that there's always going to be another problem that people have that you can solve in your niche and also that as you grow and as you change you do new things and as you do hi Renee and as you do new things then you come up with new problems to that you want to solve for people as well because like for instance I've just been putting together a podcast and I read it all kinds of problems so uh, in coming out seeing all those problems it showed me something I definitely want to share with people once I finish this process and get it up so you know that's that's the deal with that but um, the other thing is is that especially when people are writing their first book they all they feel like again this goes back to what I was just saying they feel like oh I shot my wad you know I, I did it and that's it and sometimes they don't even understand why they should write more books and the thing about writing more books is that when you write more books you get more credibility you get more expert status and it's so great in uh, in Amazon because Amazon you know has that little section where it says people who bought this book also bought these and so as you write more books sometimes people don't find you from your first book or maybe your first book isn't one that resonates with them but then there's another book that does and so even Jack Canfield I once heard him talking about chicken soup from your soul and, and uh, when he wrote the success principle there were people who bought the success principle because of chicken soup for your soul but there were also people who believe it or not never heard of chicken soup from the soul 
and they bought the success principle and then they bought some chicken soup for the souls and so you know it stimulated their their sales so that's why you want you want to keep writing and you want to keep looking for things that you can write about and so there are lots of different ways to find out you know what the challenges are that people are having um, you can do you know customer appreciation days it can be in talking having private conversations with prospects and with clients it can be doing a survey um, it can be going into Amazon and looking at reviews of other people's books in your niche and seeing what people were not happy with you know what they were disappointed with and then doing something from that so there are different ways to find out what people want and then you know either go and figure out how you can solve the problem or you may already know how to solve the problem and sometimes you just come up with things you know on the fly today I was uh, putting up the the uh, advertisement just to say I was going to come on here and uh, all of a sudden I realized that when I go to share it in other groups or things that there's this is just a little extra tip here it has nothing to do with this um, that that I saw that when people go and when you share it in other groups it doesn't show that it's on facebook.com forward slash Ellen Violette so I thought oh cool I can just go you know rather than what I used to do is sit in ripple and spend all this time making these other other advertisements I thought I can just go over to Canva and I can just take a snapshot of what what it just made in Facebook and just add the URL and then just stick that up so sometimes you just you know come up with you know cool little things that you can share with other people and sometimes it's a it's solving a whole big problem of some kind so you know make a list you know keep a list of uh, things that people tell you that they want solved you know what you don't want to do is go jumping from thing to thing to thing so okay well I gotta solve this and I gotta solve this and I gotta solve that and then you, you know you're overwhelmed so one of the things I suggest is you know just taking little three by fives when somebody tells you something that you could turn into a book put it in your pile and when you finish one book you know, go look at your pile and, you know, do another book out of that. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to say today. <laughs> hey, hey, Veronica. Uh, I can see the comments now here. So, that's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.